Friends, we are finally going solar. I'm so excited. Today we're gonna to talk about the very first steps that you need to do to calculate and think about what you need for your solar system. Then we are also going to talk about the products that we chose and why we chose them for our off-grid homestead solar system. We have got a lot to talk about, so let's get going. So we hunted for about two years for products that we could find that were affordable, high quality, and potentially made in the USA. And all of those products had to also hit another criteria for us, which was that they were DIY friendly. Now we found a company, which I'm gonna talk about in a minute, that is somewhat local to us, but they ship all over the US. Uh, they're about an hour and 45 minutes, give or take, from us. They have been amazing, and they had exactly what we were looking for. So we are gonna talk about those first steps in calculating what you need for your system, and then we are gonna talk about all those products and why we chose each one of them. So it's really important to stick through this entire video and absorb every piece of information that I'm giving you. This is information that I wish that I could have found out there, which would have helped me in making quicker decisions on what to get for our homestead solar system. There are two first things that are equally important, and those are, first of all, sunlight. Where are you going to put your panels? Now for us, we have been watching our property. We have big, tall oak trees on either side of our property framing it, and those trees cast a lot of shade. My house roof does face dead south, but it's one o'clock in the afternoon in early November, and you can see it's already shaded. So that wasn't gonna work for us because it butts up to those large trees right on the edge of our property. And on this side of the property, you can see we have the same thing. So this is the spot. I've been observing over the last year plus on where the sun moves in this area, and this is absolutely the sunniest spot. You need at least four and a half to five hours, give or take where you live, of direct sunlight on those PV panels to, to be really efficient with it and to generate as much power as you possibly can. So you can see behind us, we've got our grape and blueberry enclosure. We're gonna be tearing down the fencing, keeping the grapes there, but moving the blueberries because they need to get sacrificed for the racking for our solar panels. Now, equally important to where you're gonna put your solar panels for the most gain of the sun is how much power you actually use in your home. Now you can do that by looking at your electricity bill and seeing how much power you are using every month and then doing a little bit of math and seeing how much power you're using every day. Now you also need to look at all of your appliances and look to see how much power they are drawing. And that's gonna give you an idea of how much inverting power you need, how many solar panels you need, and how much battery storage you need for your off-grid homestead. Now here's something that's very important I need all of you to take to heart, is that you do not need to buy a system that powers everything all at once and purchase it all at once if you are worried about cost. That's another beautiful thing about the components that I purchased is they are expandable. You can add more solar panels, you can add more inverters, you can add more batteries. That is true in any system, but with this system, the components cost less, they are still super high quality, and you can continually add as you come into a little bit of money and just up that power for your homestead. That is something we really try to do for you on our channel, is to showcase things, showcase what we're doing, where you can build up a little bit, little bit over time, because, or for a little cost, because we can't afford to just jump in and do a 40, 50, 60, $70,000 solar system that powers just absolutely everything on our property. We can't do that. I know many of you can't do that. If you can, great. But we're gonna show those of you who wanna start small, how to start small and expand from there. So one reason we were able to get a smaller system to just run everything is we are taking some big ticket items, some big load items out of the system. Three appliances that draw the biggest loads in your house are the water heater, the electric range, and an electric dryer as well, of course, as your air conditioning system or your heating system, if that's electric also. 
So you saw us get this big propane tank this summer, and that was so that we could use propane for a stove, a dryer, and the water heater. We're gonna be doing a video on running the gas lines in the near future, I just haven't gotten to it yet. But pulling those three things off first out of your system is going to save a ton of electricity. Now taking off your air conditioner, or heating air conditioner like we have, because it's a heat pump down here in the south, is a big deal. We are going to be switching over to mini split systems. So this big three ton uh, air conditioning unit that we have over here is not efficient at all. We have got something that we are gonna be doing for you DIY showing a dedicated video on how to put in a mini split heat pump. That is 38 sear, unbelievable. Those mini splits draw way less energy, especially on startup, that surge on startup, than uh, big things like this that just don't work well with solar at all, unless you have a massive system. So once you figure out what you're using for those big ticket items, you need to think about the small ticket items. Your laptop computer you leave in all the time maybe draws 15 watts of power, but don't forget all of the phantom loads all over your house. If you've got a power strip with a, LED, a little light on it, that's drawing power. If you've got a TV that the light stays on, that's drawing power. So on a house our size, which is about 1,800 square feet, we've got about 300, maybe 250 to 300 watts of constant draw. So think about that when it comes to sizing your system. But those kind of things you absolutely need to know. Hey, don't forget to scroll below the video and look at the little banner ad that has our t-shirts, our merchandise in it. You can also head over to the main page and click on the store tab. We'd really appreciate you buying one because the proceeds help us make these videos. So here's the very first component, our solar panels. These panels are from Solar Ever. Solar Ever is an American company. Although these panels are manufactured in Mexico, they are a lot less expensive than the big American solar brands that are manufactured here. Now, I tried my best to be able to afford uh, a Hylene panel or a, oh, what's the other ones? I can't even remember. There's, there's a couple of them, but not many that are made in the United States. Uh, this panel, American company, American revenue, unfortunately not American jobs, some American jobs in the engineering and that side of things, but the manufacturing's in Mexico. It's very close. So we're excited to get these and they're 440 watts, they're huge. 84 inches long and 41 inches wide. Look at the size of this thing. It's like, it's almost like a sheet of plywood. It's massive. And these are split cell panels and they are more efficient if you happen to get a little bit of shading on some of the panel. And of course we purchased all of our PV wire, our photovoltaic wire that runs from the solar panels to the inverter from the same place. Here's that mini split we're talking about. It's by Innovair and it's, look at this. 38 sear, that is insanely efficient. And running off a solar system, no problem at all. Let's go talk about our solar racking. Look at this bolt that we have for our solar rack. This is the wrench I had to purchase to put it together. It's an inch and a half uh, wrench, which is massive. That's, that's a big bolt. Now we're so excited about this solar rack. You can see laying on the ground behind us because of its affordability and its simplicity. So this is a Powers solar frame, and I mentioned the company is in Arizona. We got it from Signature Solar in Sulphur Springs, Texas. And it's about half, maybe less, than what a system like Unirac is going to cost you. We priced out Unirac and uh, the other most popular uh, racking system out there and you get the parts and pieces but you still have to buy the galvanized pipe for your system and that galvanized pipe for us for our panels for the size of our, our rack was going to be fifteen hundred dollars plus the Unirac and the other company I can't remember it was very close uh, it was about three thousand dollars or thirty two hundred dollars so forty five to $4,700 compared to this, not even a contest. We're gonna do a whole video on setting these up, but I just wanted to show you really quick how simple these are. These big steel uh, columns here, these big C channels, what they do is they just, you can pound them into, a into the ground if you can find somebody with a, uh, a hammer on the front of a skid steer, you can pound them into the ground or you can dig a hole 
and set them in concrete. And on the top, there are two bolt holes for those giant bolts I showed you earlier. Now let's show you the other parts. There's just two parts in the bolt. It's pretty awesome. I'll show you those other um, support pieces. So you can see right here, it has two holes and those correspond with the holes on the columns. This one, as you can see, is oblong and this gives you adjustment between different angles. You can adjust this, I think, between 20 and 30 degrees. So I flipped one of these up on edge here and you can see the shape of it. Now, what happens is your solar panels will sit on this lip here. There's a special clamp that will clamp between this lip and your solar panel um, frame and then you'll screw it into this part right here so it's it's nice and rigid and that solar panel will span between these beams and that's what holds everything together it utilizes the strength of your solar panels as part of the structure now i'm so excited let's head in and show you the inverters that we've got for this project and this is probably the best piece even more than the, this racking system i'm so excited about the best piece of equipment in the entire system so there are a lot of parts and pieces that go into your solar system and this one is probably the most exciting for me because of its value and that is the cost for what it does and the quality of it and that is this growatt spf 5000 5 kilowatt hybrid inverter charger this thing is incredibly powerful and an amazing value and they only weigh 26 pounds a piece, so you can pretty much mount them anywhere. The unique thing about these is they are a European design. So they are a 230, 240 volt design. So obviously that's not gonna run your 120 volt items in your house. It will run things like your dryer, which is 240 volt, your stove, which is 240 volt, um, water heater, 240, well pump, 240. It'll run directly from this, but we got to run those other 120 volt things we need this other item down here and that is a midpoint transformer this actually splits the power splits the 240 volt into two 120 volt legs this midpoint transformer is made by solar edge and also carried by signature solar the signature solar sells this in a kit with one inverter and the transformer but the cool thing is is if you have more inverters and parallel those inverters together you still only need one transformer uh, for about every three inverters so let's talk about these grow watts this is actually the number one selling residential inverter in the world i think they've sold 26 million of these and there's some channels out there that have done extensive testing on these and their quality level is off the charts channels like david paz and will prouse have done extensive testing on these they are very technically inclined unlike me they have done extensive testing on these and they have performed incredibly well in fact these grow watts are 93 percent efficient that is heads and tails above a lot of other brands and can you believe you can parallel six of these five kilowatt inverters together for 30 kilowatts of inverting power that is an amazing amount of power and way more than we would ever need for our house. We could probably power three houses with that. Remember, I said our goal on this channel was to highlight things that are of the highest quality and the most uh, value. So the least expensive for the highest quality. This 5,000 kilowatt inverter is $900. That is amazing. Another amazing thing, I can put 6,000 watts of PV into each one of these inverters. And that's at a very high voltage, 450 volts open circuit. That fact has actually blown away a couple of those other guys I mentioned, that these can take that amount of energy coming into them and be as efficient as they are. I can't say enough about these. And I haven't even hooked them up yet. That's how excited I am. Now I do have to mention all, our entire system is 48 volts. So these are 48 volts. They do sell some 24 volts. I think they might sell a 12 volt also. Uh, they're a little bit smaller than this, but this one is 48 volts. Our batteries are gonna be 48 volts, the entire system. And then just, I just think it's better and more efficient from what I've read and studied over the past couple of years. Other things that you'll need in your system are things like a PV disconnect. That's to disconnect that uh, DC power, that direct current power from your uh, solar panels if you need to work on things like the inverters or your batteries or something like that. 
Of course, you're going to need some big wire. And when we start to put this together for you in the next couple of videos, we're going to talk about wire sizing, where to get it, where we found the best deals on that. You need a sub panel, and that's what we've got uh, right here. You can get those at Home Depot. Uh, we're going to talk about sizing that and just all of the extra stuff that you're going to need to know to put your system together yourself. So you can see in the background our grape enclosure, and that's where our solar panels are going to be in that general area. You can see it's nice and sunny still, and it's, it's late in the day. We've also got our electrical conduit ready to run under the ground over there to receive our uh, PV wire that will run over to the side of the new uh, addition here to the house, which is mostly for the, that solar system. Although, all those solar components we are putting in there are not taking up that much space at all, which is really cool. So in this room, which is roughly nine and a half by 11 and a half, we've got just this corner dedicated. We've got some hardy backer on the wall for fire safety, and it's recommended that you have that up on the wall. And we got to talk about batteries. Now, I don't have the batteries yet. These batteries are amazing, and the cost of them is off the charts amazing but we don't have them yet because they're in such high demand and they may still be sitting in a shipping container off the port of Long Beach, uh, not being unloaded yet. <laughs> so I'm waiting for them. But it's the Eagle batteries from Signature Solar and they come, they're a, uh, a rack style. So a server rack style of battery. And I'll show you some pictures right here. They're really neat. They're about 100 pounds a piece. They're 100 amp hours each. They're 48 volt. They have a built-in battery monitoring, they have built-in resistor, they have a built-in um, circuit breaker, everything that you would need. The cabinet has a built-in bus bar, so you don't need to buy extra bus bars when you're hooking up your batteries to it. So I recommend getting the cabinet along with them, although you don't need to, I highly recommend it. Um, all of that is a nice self-contained little package. You can actually add batteries to, you can add up to six on one rack. So we will have to start 300 amp hours of battery power, which should last us for a couple of days, which is really neat. If, if there's no sun, if there's no other energy coming into those batteries. Uh, the nice thing about this is they sell, Signature Solar sells a battery charger that you can hook to a tiny little generator to charge your batteries. If you don't have sun for a week, if you're in some storms or whatever, we have a whole house generator that we're gonna hook up also, but it's not necessary to have a huge generator like that to recharge your batteries because it's just inefficient. It wastes gas to just charge your batteries. So we're gonna be talking much more about all of these components when we are hooking them up for you, showing you how easy it is to do it by yourself. Um, but these batteries, they use, they use the same exact cells as top tier grade A plus cells as Simplify and Rely On, all those big battery names, they're using the same uh, same cells. And the battery construction, you can go see it on Will Prowse's channel, is A plus, top notch, pristine, beautiful battery construction. And they also have an awesome warranty. And here's the crazy part. Signature Solar has these batteries for only $1,750 each for 48 volt, 100 amp hour. And they're the same cells as batteries that are at least two times the price, maybe maybe a little less, but <laughs> why would you not go to Signature Solar and seek out these batteries? Now, yeah, they're, they are in such high demand, they can't keep them in stock. So you can pre-order on their website right now, which is pretty cool. Um, and you will get in line for an allocation of those batteries. So friends, let me talk about the company where we got all of these components from. Signature Solar, located in Sulphur Spring, Texas. They have been amazing. The guys and gals over at Signature Solar have been extremely helpful with every question that I've had. They've taken the time to sit down with me, whether it be on the phone or in person because they're close to us, and go through all my questions. Tell me about wire sizes. Tell me about all the things that I need for the system. They're incredibly knowledgeable, and the founders of Signature Solar actually did installs for many, many years before they decided to get into offering products that were high-value products like you just saw me talk about. 
So stick around on the channel. We are going to be doing that whole series of videos for you from the solar racking. Every single piece, every single part hooked up in our entire system, we're gonna be showing you. And there might be one or two little things that we might not be able to do ourselves, like hook in a big wire into our existing main panel for the power from the solar system. And we'll probably just grab a friend who's an electrician to do that. Now go check out these videos right here, which I know will be incredibly helpful for you on your homestead. Have a great day, we love you. We'll see you next time, bye.